comes just in time for a special class at a charter school which is in southeast D.C. That's right. This is pretty cool, too. Mm -hmm. Students there are required to take a swimming class. As D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford explains, this could be a life-saving lesson for those students. At Eagle Academy Public Charter School in southeast Washington, it's about the three R's plus an S, swimming. 9.30 this morning, members of the second grade class at this pre-K through third grade school were in the school's pool practicing. This is not just about fun. For the 770 students at this school, it's a requirement. Every student in this school will swim when they leave Eagle Academy. And we have started by phasing in, starting with our three, third, third graders and second graders, and then we'll move down to our pre-K. School founder Cassandra Pinckney said it was a requirement for her back when she graduated Howard University and she decided her inner city students need to know as well for their own good. And the statistics are startling. USA Swimming says while most white kids do know how to swim, the vast majority of black kids do not. And the CDC says the chance of a black child drowning is three times that of a white child. Some of them started out not knowing how to even put their face in the water. And so we take them slow, we teach them breathing habits, and we focus on the little details that make a big difference. For these second graders, it's the class they never want to miss. They're learning swimming technique. Flutter kit, flutter kit. And they're comfortable in water. If you're in an ocean or sea and then, you, and then all at a beach, you will drown. But people that, who know, that knows how to swim, they swim and then they don't drown. They get to save their lives. Okay. So learning to swim is important. In Southeast Washington, I'm Sam Ford, ABC 7 News. <laughs> That's a great idea.